Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Protopilot. My name is Darren and in this episode we're going to be building um, the first part of a prototype that's going to be able to orientate. So this is when you turn your phone to put an app into landscape mode and portrait mode. So that's what we're going to be building. So here's a quick demo of what we're going to be building in this video. So you can see I'm just rotating landscape and I can move the, the um, scrolling tabs left and right and then I can turn back to portrait. Okay, so there are a few problems that we've got to, or some hurdles we've got to get over um, when we're building this in Protopie. It's not very straightforward to do. There's no magic trigger or response which allows us to do this currently. So we've got to use a bit of smoke and mirrors, a bit of um, a few, a bit of trickery um, to get this to work. And this is mainly due to the fact that the scroll views inside a Protopie can't be rotated. Okay, so we're going. I'm going to show you what that exactly means before we start to build our version of it. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's have a quick look at what I'm talking about when I say that the scroll views don't rotate. So I've got my design here. So this is just a simple scroll in tab interface um, here at the top of the screen. And you can see over here, it's in a scroll view. This scroll view is going from left to right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over to the rotation property here, and I'm just going to rotate the whole scroll view 90 degrees. Okay, let's just pull that into, into the middle of the screen just so we can kind of have a look at it. And if we look over here in the preview window, now you would expect that I have, that because I've rotated it 90 degrees, that I would have also rotated the scrollable part of it 90 degrees as well. So if that was true, I should be able to just gesture top and bottom and it should scroll on the landscape orientation. So if I do that, you'll see nothing's really happening. It's, it's kind of jigg jiggling about and that's mainly because I can't get it exactly um, top and bottom. But if I actually scroll left and right, you'll see that my my content is scrolling up and down. And that's because the content has rotated, but the scroll part, the scroll gesture hasn't rotated and it can't be rotated. And so because of this, this makes it a little bit difficult for us to create these kinds of interfaces where we want to have a portrait and landscape view easily inside of Protopie. But we can do it and, and I'm gonna show you how to to do it in in this in this video, um, but I just wanted to kind of just make it really clear what the problem is and how we need to to get over that. And what we effectively let me just come back over to here and undo those two things. So effectively, what we need to do is we need to have two scrolling groups. We need to have a group that handles the portrait view, and we also need a group that handles the landscape view. So you can see here, I've got two views set up here. One's portrait and one's landscape. So the one that scrolls from left to right is our is, is the interface we're using in portrait mode. So that works as you would expect it to work here. So that goes from left to right. Actually, let me just hide this one. Okay. So you can see this, this goes from left to right. So that's actually the easy part. We don't have to do anything with that. Um, and then we've got this second one. So let's just hide the portrait and show the landscape one. And we've got this landscape view, which because we can't rotate the orientation, we need to already have the orientation going in the correct direction. So it's a, it's a vertical road. Um, it's a vertical scroll because it needs to scroll this direction when the phone is in landscape. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to just set up this a little bit to make it fit for purpose so we can actually use it when we're actually building the, the interactions for the landscape view. So you can see here that I've got two groups. I've got my container group, which has got the scroll on it. This is called scrolling tabs.landscape. And then I've got this tab items group, which is just holding all of our 
pills, our pill buttons in there. Okay. So, and what we need to do is when, when we, when we rotate it, we're going to, we're going to rotate it counterclockwise. So if you, if you use any apps that have a landscape view, you'll probably rotate it counterclockwise, um, more than, more than the other way. It's just the natural way for you to turn it. So we need to make sure that it works when it's rotated in that direction. And of course, when you, as you saw on the, um, the intro video, when I rotated it counterclockwise, everything else has to rotate in the opposite direction so that it can meet the landscape view because effectively we need an animation showing us that we're going from portrait to landscape. And because we need that animation, we need to start our landscape view for, for the animation perspective in the correct, in its correct starting position. Okay. And the correct starting position is actually going to need to be exactly the same position as our portrait one here that we've got. So it's going to start in this view and then it's going to rotate over to this, to this top edge here. Okay. So you can see at the moment that it's not in the correct position. We've got our vertical scroll pointing downwards here and then inside of our our group we've got our tab items which is actually is actually pointing in the right direction but we need it we need to match it to the scroll so the first thing we need to do so to do that we just need to add some rotation properties to these two groups so the first rotation property we need to change is the scroll tabs landscape so we need to come over to rotation and we need to type in 270 and that's effectively going to put it in the correct starting position because 270 is 90 degrees to the left of where we want it to be. And because we're rotating counterclockwise and because we need it to rotate in the opposite direction, we need to start it at 270 degrees. Okay. Now, of course, rotating this view to 270 degrees has actually put our tab items in the wrong position now. Now it's pointing up like this and we actually need it to be pointing across so we have we need to come into this group and we need to type a value into the rotation property of 90 degrees so that just brings it back into the correct position okay so now we've got our rotational group sorry our scroll group pointing in the correct starting position which is the same as the portrait one and we've actually got our content also pointing in the correct direction. So this is now successfully set up and ready for us to add our triggers and responses, which we'll do in the next section. Okay, so we're now ready to add our interactions. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to add to my triggers panel is a tilt trigger. So you'll find tilt trigger over here on the right hand side inside of the sensor section. Okay, so let's add tilt. And tilt comes with three axes, X, Y, and Z. And for the rotation axis that we want to use for this particular prototype, we want to use the Z axis. Okay, so let's choose Z here. Okay, now to this, we're going to add a rotate response. And you can see here, just, just to pause for a second, you can see there's only certain responses which are accessible from within the tilt trigger. So you can see that it's, it's, it's kind of like a subset of what's available, okay? Normally it's the most appropriate. You won't be get access to certain ones which wouldn't be considered um, something you'd want to do, okay? So we're gonna add rotate. And for our target, we want to target the view group container. So we're gonna choose that. So that, so we're actually gonna rotate the whole group, which is the whole view, um, which is why we need to get all of our um, tabs in the correct position. Okay, uh, one more thing we need to do is we need to, let me just double check this. Yeah, I think we need to hide this landscape. So we just need to turn the opacity down to zero. I think I turned it up just to show you how it was constructed. Okay, so let's make sure that's in zero opacity. Cool, okay, so let's carry on. Um, okay, so back over to our rotate response. So we need to add, so the way rotate works within till is it uses a range 
and the range on the left hand side is the degree of tilt so tilt as its own rotation um, axis and it's going to chain it to the to the rotate response we've got here and we and the 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 degrees the rotation degrees that we want to use for the rotate response now i've had um, a little play with the values and i've settled on a range of 40 to 60. it was a bit of trial and error so um, feel free to play around with this so i'm going to use 40 to 60 for the tilt and that's going to map to zero so 40 is my starting position um, and that's going to map to zero and 90. And we're going to leave the rotation orientation to clockwise here. Okay. So let me just hit return on that. Cool. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to, we want to add a scale response. And again, we want to target the view. It's already added it because I had it pre-selected um, because we need to change the shape of these because we're not, we're essentially rotating the view, but it's still a portrait shape. So we need to change it into a landscape shape. So that's what we're going to do now. And if we come over into scale again, you can see it's got the range and we want to make the range exactly the same. So that's going to go from 40 to 60 here. So the same tilt range and then the mapping over here is going to be, um, so it starts at 375 by 812 and it will just change around to 812 by 375. Okay. Okay. So next up, we want to add an opacity and I just want to, you can see over here, I've got this mock tab bar at the bottom. So I just want to fade that out. I don't want that to be viewable or usable in landscape mode. So going into landscape mode has a, a very specific use case and you're not going to be want to be tabbing around. You're going to be wanting to ultimately this, this prototype is to allow you to view lots of images of um, pies. So when you're going into landscape mode, you're just really in in depth looking at these, these images and you don't want to have the distraction of a tab bar at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to add an opacity here and we're gonna select our navigation. And again, we're gonna use the same range. So 40 to 60. Not in there though. And we're using the degree of tilt to map to the opacity this time. So this is going to go from an opacity of 100 to an opacity of zero. Next, we're going to add another opacity. And this time we're going to use this opacity to fade in our scrolling tabs dot landscape. So let's just select that here, come to our opacity and change the target to scrolling tabs dot landscape. And we're going to use the same range. So that's 40, 60. And we're going to go from a zero opacity to 100. Okay, um, we're going to add one more opacity. And this time we want to fade out our scrolling tabs dot portrait here. So let's choose the scrolling tabs dot portrait from the list. Same range again. And this time I'm going to go from 100 to zero because we're fading it out. Okay, so that about completes all of the responses we need to add. 
So because we're using the tilt trigger here, we can only look at this on a real device. So we're going to, you can see I've got a device connected here. You can tell because the, the icon's green and we need to just run the prototype to send it over to the device and we can give it a test. So let's do that now. Okay, so here we are with our prototype on our device. So if we just have a look, we can see we can scroll our portrait version. So we've got our scrolling tabs going from left to right here. And then if we swivel around to landscape, we've now switched over to our landscape sliding tab and we can actually wrote, um, we can actually slide that left to right. So on the correct orientation. So let's just have a look at that again. So portrait and landscape. Now, obviously in this prototype, you probably wouldn't have this scrolling because all of the content fits, but if you had a longer list, then obviously you could see, you could um, have the ability to scroll it. Okay, so this about brings us to the end of part one of orientation. In the next part, we're going to be looking at filling in the images and we're going to do a orientation of the images from portrait to landscape. So you can also scroll those as well. Um, it's not, it's the same principle, but it's not exactly the same um, as, as far as what we've done here. So some slight differences that we'll need to look into. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a like. Um, if you want to, make sure that you get part two of this orientation um, video tutorial and any any other tutorials and please subscribe to the channel and hopefully i will see you next time take it easy